Abhijit, if you could just. Um, yeah, no, I think uh, you pretty much said it. Uh, so, you know, at Mintra, we've been now working with, uh, with so this is not the first brand we have launched with uh, USPL. This is the third, after Rong and Imara. I think what works for us is that, uh, you know, every one of those brands is sort of very, very sharply positioned on the youth. It talks an emotive language to the youth, just like in this case, I think, you know, just the, just the entire language of mistaken identity, right? Misunderstood women. I think that will strike a chord with people. To top it off, I think the product is, uh, is and you know, as you would have seen today, I think the product is very wearable. It's also very affordable, so I think it's, it's, uh, it's set up for huge success. And you know, just like Rong and Imara, which are now, by the way, um, you know, top 10 brands on Mintra within a, within a span of less than two years, um, I think we are, we are looking at a winner. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, can I please uh, open it for the question and answers from the media? Yeah, can you have some mics over here? If you want, uh, she wanted your mic. I'm telling you, you're not good at your job. <laughs> Do you actually think that the garment which has been worn by the showstopper is something really new? Because I feel this has been done to death. And this is definitely what Kriti should be walking the ramp with as a showstopper. I feel a uh, uh, little black dress never goes out of fashion, sir. Uh, I feel a little black dress never goes out of fashion. And uh, I don't know about you, but I, I really felt very good uh, wearing this. I think it fits me really perfectly. And while walking till here, I did get a few compliments. No, but so this is something which has been done to death. I mean, it's available in the Lokhandwala markets for the last three years. Really? I, I'm, I'm really sorry to say this, but I feel if Kriti is walking the ramp, she should be dressed in something which is totally elaborate and something which is totally new. But I'm sorry. it's a uh, it's a high street fashion brand. Yeah, but it's this has been done to garment, death. Right? No, there's nothing new in this, Kriti. I'm sorry. No, but uh, uh, you want me to talk to that? So anyway, no, is the LA of Lokanwala Andheri is the LA of. No, but adding to that, I never said we are reinventing fashion. I did not say we're reinventing fabric. I did not say we're doing something uh, that's never been done before. I said, uh, like uh, Kriti rightly said, I think a little black dress is something which is sexy. It's something that every woman wears, and it's a classic. It's like, uh, you know, the denim that you're wearing. Black jean, jeans have been done to death, but that doesn't mean... Oh, well, Virat wore black jeans when he walked the ramp, and I still think it's cool. I don't think, I think certain things are classic, and I think we would like to leave it that way. Yeah. Uh, any, any questions? Can you please raise your hands? Yeah, sure. Hello. Uh, good evening to all. This is Raj from uh, this member of the press. I, I'd like to ask yeah. Kriti. Uh, Hi, sir. The meaning of fashion changes every time. What fashion means to you? Well, uh, fashion to me, I think um, it's, it's more about comfort. But at the same time, it's something that makes me feel good about myself. Um, I think for me, it's a little bit of uh, an extended uh, personality, something that is a bit of you. So there's a reason why I walk into a store and I point at a certain uh, garment and I say I like this and I don't like this. I think that's my choice. It's a bit of me in it. So uh, fashion and style are very personal and uh, there are days when I feel like dressing up, there are days when I don't feel like dressing up. But that does not mean a simple white t-shirt and denims uh, is not fashionable. I think anything that just I feel comfortable in at that point of time and I feel like wearing and uh, I feel good about myself, is what I believe in. Oh, we have one, sorry, uh, one question here as well, please, yeah. I have a question for you, Kriti. Yes, sir. And uh, since you are a qualified enough, and what is the role of education in one's life, especially if you are a performing artist? I think education in any, uh, um, any field is very, very important. More than anything else, it gives you the self-confidence. It gives you, um, it makes you a little more independent and confident about yourself as a person. 
uh, when you interact with people. Right now when I'm here, I mean, I never thought of becoming an actor and probably if I would have, I would have not gone for a B.Tech, but rather something else. But uh, because I am educated, I did my graduation, I think I do feel confident here standing in front of you, talking to you like this, uh, without even knowing you, and uh, surrounded by so many people and still not feeling less about myself. Riti Prabhat from ANI, why the name is mistaken as such? I mean, what is the specific reason for that purpose? Firstly, I love it. And uh, secondly, I think uh, it, it, I mean, usually what happens is you come up with a brand name and then you go around that thinking that how will this go with our brand, with uh, our values. Ke I think in this case it happened the other way around. Uh, we already felt that this brand was something uh, which was for a new age girl, uh, for a strong independent girl who likes to bend the rules, who likes to live her life on her own terms. And usually in our society those girls are mistaken. So it kind of really goes very well. I think it's, uh, I would like to reiterate that it's very wearable clothes, it's not over the top. And I think uh, the USP of it would be the value price proposition that we have and also the distribution that we have. I think uh, we are not reinventing fashion, it existed, it will continue to exist, but uh, affordable fashion, uh, fast fashion, I don't know what that means, it's still a loosely used word. But I think the USP would be the value proposition, the aspiration of the brand, the style quotient of the brand. We've got a bunch of international designers working on it. Uh, we do follow all the international trends, be it WGSN or whatever else. And uh, yeah, I think also the, uh, the positioning of the brand, I think that's really what is singularly the USP. Because I think a lot of brands talk about a target audience, but uh, my target audience is, is the youth. We are all, all our brands focus on the youth. Our marketing communication, if you see, is youth focused. Our celebrity is youth. So I think that's what it is. It is uh, a brand by the youth for the youth. I think that's what it is. Uh, hi, Kriti. Here. Sorry. This is Ravi from ABP. I can't see you. There's a lot of light. Yeah. Tallest guy. Hi. Uh, Kriti, Sawal thoda sa. Sorry, firstly, are you that tall or are you standing or something? No, no, I'm Still that tall. tall. Oh, wow. I really like tall guys. Yeah, see his yeah. eyelashes now. Yes. Yeah, Happy to know that. Sawal thoda sa cliched hai, lekin mujhe lagta puchna chahe. Kis kis ka, kis kis ka fashion aapko inspired karta hai, khas kar Bollywood mein, actors ki baat karein toh. First of all, you said it was a cliche. But uh, there are a lot of them, yeah. I think um, I really like the way Deepika dresses. Uh, I love the way Kangana experiments a lot. I think it's very important to just go out of the box and do something. Um, Sonam, of course, is uh, someone who really has a great style. Uh, among the men, there are lots of them, actually. Uh, I particularly like Shah Rukh Sir's style. Uh, because I think he's very laid back and he's just so comfortable in what he's wearing. You know, he's never wearing the clothes. Like, he's just in them and they're just looking good in him. It's like that. One question is, one question is, you have launched your label now. Have you ever tried to do it when you were not an actor? Have you ever tried to design your clothes? No, I was actually just my mom. So, वो मेरे लिए कपड़े डिजाइन करती थी उस टाइम पे, but नहीं, I was never like, I was actually more studious that time, and धीरे-धीरे अभी थोड़ा क्रिएटिव साइड बाहर आ रहा है, so yeah. Thank you so much. Can you take the last question, please? Thank you. One minute, I'll give the mic sir, so everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Hi, looking lovely, walked really well on the ramp. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, you started off as a model before becoming an actress. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you must have seen a lot of showstoppers then. Today, walking as the showstopper, was there uh, butterflies in your stomach? Uh, there are always butterflies in the stomach when you uh, are about to start the walk. I'm sorry, I'll have to face that side, but I'm talking to you, okay? So, <laughs> uh, there are always butterflies in the stomach, but this time, honestly, I was just telling her that I've never had so much fun walking on the ramp uh, probably, you know, I was, I was actually standing behind there somewhere and watching the show and uh, everybody was just having a blast. They were not like really walking properly, which we always used to do as a, a model back then. Uh, so it was like, just go have fun, walk, smile, dance, do whatever you want. So I think I've really had a blast walking on this ramp and it's quite a long ramp. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Kriti. Ji, I saw it. It was very good. And uh, yeah, I, I felt it was very relevant and very real. Yeah, Kriti, one question. Uh, the last yeah, question, yes. Yeah, 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 last one. Yeah. Kriti, All the please. questions are yes, coming yes, from yes. me. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi, sir. You are looking very gorgeous. Thank you so much. Now, most important, you are already mistaken now. So Am what, I? Yeah, mistaken. Oh, I thought mistaken, mistaken. <laughs> mistaken. So yeah. now, what is the takeaway for you now, as far as this particular brand is concerned and the show is concerned? I think uh, this show, firstly, uh, was a very, very different kind of a show that I've done. So in terms of a show, it was very hot happening and something that I really had fun doing. Uh, in terms of the brand, I think uh, since some time now, I was, this thing was in my head that I want to, uh, you know, sort of design or like uh, come up with something of my own. Um, and since the values that mistaken stands for is something that I feel very strongly for. So I think it could have not been better than this. You'll be using one of these uh, brands for your films in future as such? Well, uh, for films, actually, it's not my call. Uh, mm. I, I kind of leave it to the production and the director. Mm. So uh, it depends upon the script. It but depends upon... But uh, you'll feel inclined for that matter? Inclined to use it? Yes. Well, if it's something uh, like this is more contemporary, this is more today's yeah, age. Yeah, correct, so if I do have uh, um, a film in which I play an urban girl, something uh, out of this range is liked by the stylist and the director, then why not? Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, can I please request everybody to give a round of applause to the people on the dais? And thank you so much. One photograph, uh, all three of you. I love the way you're talking in sign language. Huh? <laughs>